My kayak keeps going flat. Hey folks, I'm Clyde and this is Tommy. Welcome to the Lull House, cheers! Having a slow leak around the seal where your tire seats onto the rim can be pretty annoying. I keep having to fill it up, like every day. You could take it to a tire shop. But I don't have any money. Well then, let's see how we can fix this at home. All right. First, we're gonna take some soapy water and make sure that it's actually the bean seal that's leaking. Oh yeah, there it is. We'll turn it over and have a look at the backside too. All good here. And we already know that there's no puncture, so we don't wanna waste your time with that. So let's get to taking the air out. Now we're gonna rely on the aid of our 93 Cherokee and a high lift jack. Rest around the corner of the bead and raise her up to the bumper. Now we're jacking it in an upward direction so the weight of the Jeep will rest on the bead. And taking our time so it won't slip out on us. Here she goes. Ooh, watch out for that valve stem. Next, let her down slowly. Turn the tire and repeat this process until the beads freed up all the way around. There we go. There's our problem. We got rocks wedged in the bead. How'd you even get those in there, Tommy? Common problem with these alloy wheels is corrosion builds up on the bead seal, so we're gonna take care of that while we're in here. Now we're gonna use a bit more of that soapy water as a lubricant for the bead to seat as we're airing it up. Put the valve core back in and take some compressed air to it. If you've never flinched at a bead seating, you ought to be in the nitroglycerin business. So finish airing it up, check your pressure, and with any luck, you just fixed it. That's awesome, but what if you don't have a farm jack? Our buddy Dave from the Redneck Garage has a video where he does the same thing, but by running over the tire with another car. Video in the description. Booyah!